the future of music is here, just probably not in the way that you thought it would be. But before we get into that, please don't forget to like and subscribe. My goal for this year is to make it to the 1000 subscriber mark, and I'm really, really close to achieving that. So do me a favor and just like this video as it does help a lot and push it to new people. But anyways, let's move to the story of the day, um, which has to do with a song called Heart on My Sleeve, uh, made by an anonymous TikToker that goes by the name of Ghostwriter977, uh, in which the song has made all this, this, all this buzz and has gone viral because of AI, uh, AI being used to create the song uh, and incorporate Drake's and The Weeknd's voice in this track. Uh, and like I said, it's not really them. And it's been making headlines because of how good it sounds. Good in the sense of like, it sounds just like Drake and The Weeknd. Uh, that if, if, if like if it were a song actually made and sung by them. But like I said, it's not. It's created by this ghostwriter 977. And it's just bizarre the fact that something, a product that sounds so real is able to even exist and created by just a random person who, who was able to just uh, uh, use some AI tools. And obviously they know a little bit more about actually the composition of music to create all of this, but it just sounds, it's, it's just bizarre. And I, I would play a little bit of it, but <laughs> it's actually really hard to even find the, the song now because all the major uh, streaming services uh, that play music have actually brought it, uh, like took it down, including the original TikTok video. Uh, but it's also, it's not in on YouTube or Apple Music and Spotify, or at least the original. I'm pretty sure you can probably find uh, somebody who re-uploaded it. Like once something's online, it's really hard to actually completely wipe it off of the internet. Uh, so it, it is probably somewhere out there. I'm just saying, I just wanted to make a point of the fact that all these different uh, companies have actually uh, taken it down. And they've taken it down because Universal Music Group, uh, the music label that represents Drake, The Weeknd, and several other superstars and artists uh, sent these urgent letters out. In, in April this month to streaming platforms, um, including Spotify and Apple Music, asking them to block AI platforms from training on the melodies and lyrics of their own copyrighted songs. And I don't really know if Spotify and Apple Music have the capabilities of doing that. Uh, but I just thought it, it's this, this whole AI thing is just so fairly new. Um, and it, it, it's quite astonishing how fast everything's already evolved that we've gotten to the point where music could literally be created using artists voice and sounding so good that it's hard to tell that it's not them. And I think this just opens up to a bigger issue of like whether or not this would be considered original work, because at least what they're trying to, uh, the, the, the way that the, the, the company, the, the music label is trying to phrase it is that it is infringing on their copyrighted work, their copyrighted songs, their copyrighted material, whatever. But it's really though, <laughs> because I guess what, what is copyright infringement, right? In order for there to be copyright infringement and, and this, there are obviously some sub elements that I won't get into it too much, but essentially like, the person who wants to sue for copyright infringement has to show proof that they have a valid copyright and that the uh, work in which they are the supposedly the other person is copywriting, uh, the defendant is copying the original expression from the copyrighted work. So the question is, is this a copyrighted work and are they copying that? Well, one can argue that this is completely original work. They really train, they use the AI tool to create a new song that doesn't exist anywhere else. And the only similarities to these artists is literally the voice. So had they changed the voice, um, then they, it would be a completely original work. So, I mean, you might be thinking and asking yourself, but okay, no, but they use specifically these voices to probably, you know, get the recognition. Uh, and uh, it's probably one of the reasons why it went viral in the first place. The fact that, you know, it has Drake and The Weeknd's voiced, which I would argue, yes, that is true. And that's probably why they use these voices. But they also made it clear that these aren't those voices. They're not trying to claim that it's these artists. They, 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 they disclose that it's not and that it is completely AI, AI generated. So can one copyright its own voice? I, I don't know. Obviously, there's going to be people who say yes. There's going to be other people who say no. Because, But that gets into like very, very tricky things. You can obviously copyright songs. You can even copyright sound effects. But a voice in of itself... 
you got me there. I have no idea because it's all fairly new. But I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, it seems like the, the Spotify, Apple Music, they all listen to um, Universal and they and they brought down the songs. But I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it somewhere. Listen to it. Find, just see for yourself uh, 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 whether or not it's 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 good enough to actually be able to confuse for the original the, the actual artist and we will see how this all unfolds because there's a lot of like copyright questions uh that will pop up and 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 and, and legal questions about like how things should uh proceed with all of this uh but yeah it that's all i got for today bye <laughs>